guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you are looking for a active worm farming community, you are in the right place. Today, I am going to look in on my red wigglers for the first time since they got into their high rise. I am going to do this little bit piecemeal because this is up on a shelf and I'm gonna have to take it down in order to video it. So let's get that under the light and see what they are doing. Okay, here we are at the top layer. And this is where I fed quite a bit of food. It actually did heat up a little bit. It got up to almost 100 degrees. So luckily there was more than one level for them to get away from. So let's look and see what we have here. Okay, so lots and lots of worms here. I've got this sitting in a mortar tray so that I don't get uh, worms all over the place. But it looks like this is a success. The worms are all up here eating. So that's good. Now let me go get the next layer down and have a look at it. Okay, so one of the things that I have discovered that I did wrong or should have done differently is these things. I had those on my DIY system, but I did not put them into use for this system. And uh, Michael reminded me that they are still useful for this because I'm going so far vertical that the weight is going to be very heavy and it will help the plastic live longer if I put these in there. They also told me that I should have put the most finished on top so that the worms can go away and get in the bottom, which I didn't do. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna put those risers in to hold up the weight and then we're gonna put this one back on top and have a look at this mostly finished layer of the uh, worm bin that was transferred over from the DIY system. So if I had started this all brand new, I think I would have definitely done this differently. I'm gonna take any of the big chunks out. So we're going to actually kind of do, not really, we're not trying to do a harvest at this moment, but I am going to get this in shape to get harvested next time. So I'm going to pull out all of the big chunks here. Mostly avocado shells, but hopefully with this disruption, um, agitation method I do believe is what they call it, or at least that's what Patrick calls it. And so we're going to uh, get rid of all these big chunks and agitate this part of the bin and then hopefully the worms will dive down and go live in the next layer down, which was fed last time. Okay. But of course I have three bins or three layers. I keep saying bins, but they're really just layers. I have three layers that are at about this level of completion because the, the DIY bin was almost done previously. All right, so we've taken out most of the big chunks here. That should help the worms out a little bit in getting them out of this area. So let's look at the next layer. That was also almost done. I'm gonna put these little risers in, kind of distribute that weight a little bit. I still need to go buy more of those uh, water pipes to get more risers made, but all things in time. Here is the next layer down. And I wonder if this one is not farther along. This almost looks like peanut butter. Hmm, let me know what your thoughts are here. This one actually looks more done and I can't really tell if there's less worms, but the castings, I think the castings are definitely more done on this level. I don't know at this point, I'm completely upside down. I'm not sure what I should do. I am gonna pull out any big chunks that I find though, because we definitely need those to go away so that they will not have any food so they'll leave. That much I do know. I don't know much, but that much I know. Okay. I, another thing that I have discovered is that the lid is not super tight on this. And so when I did have that big feeding last time, I did get flies, which you may or may not hear buzzing around in the background. So yeah, it's not that deep. I'm used to having a lot of real estate to uh, cover up the food. 
and just being, I don't know, five or six inches deep, this is not um, deep enough apparently to hide things from the flies. I think this is more done. What do you think? Should I put this on top and have everything go down lower? Ah, so conflicted. All right, definitely put yourself, put your comments below. Okay, next layer. This seems less done. Okay, so I think I've come to a point where I think this is less done. So we'll put that, we'll put that on top of the one that we fed the first time so that things can drip down because you can see the coconut bar in here. Okay, so we're totally, we're going to scramble it. This was the third layer from the bottom. The two bottom layers were just paper. And then this was the one that was the least finished of the DIY. I'm going to have to draw you guys a diagram because even I am getting confused at this point and I'm the one who made it. Okay, so I think this is going to be, this will be the third layer down still. So this one will stay in the same position as it was before. And uh, the more done ones will go at the very top. But I'm conflicted. Should I feed this one to get the worms to move? All right, well, it's totally ass backwards, but let's do it anyway. We're going to feed this level. And then the two really done layer layers will go on top of this one, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. The next two layers were just dry paper, so those aren't the ones we're going to even look at right now because they're just paper. But this one should go in the middle and the worms will go to it because it's got the food, right? Ugh. Feel, feel free to put all your comments in there. Um, I learn uh, as much as everybody else, so definitely uh, for anybody who wants to buy one of these systems, uh, definitely for the, for the good of everybody, if you know what you're doing, please put your comments below. Okay, and we're just gonna feed them right down the middle here Give them a little bit of bread and then I'm going to put this back on just in case you wanted to see what that first layer of the uh, inoculating looks like. It did get wet from all that wet food that I put in there. So this is layer two and it did suck up quite a bit of the moisture. Might as well go get layer one while we're at it. All right, layer one is also wet, which it was dry to begin with. It's less wet fluff it up a little bit. Looks like I do have worms down here. Dang it, now I need to go look at the bottom. So the bottom did have some worms in it, so I'm going to relocate them and put some of this dry bedding in the bottom bottom. Okay, now I'm going to put it back together. This will go on as the layer number one. This being the wetter of the inoculating trays is going to be layer two. This is the feeding layer. This will be layer three. Yeah, three. And then these three layers of mostly done are gonna go on the top so that the worms leave this and go to the one with the food. <sighs> totally not an expert here. For the love of God, not, not an expert. I am learning. That's why I started this channel so that you guys could tell me what I was doing and then once I figured out what I'm doing on certain things, I can help other people. We're all here to help everybody, right? Okay, here we are back at the thing. This is the sump that just has some little bit of paper in there in case worms get down there. This is mostly just bedding, dry bedding. Also dry bedding, but slightly wetter dry bedding. This is the one that I just fed right now. This is the one I fed last time. And these two, I'm hoping to harvest this one and this one I hope to harvest the next time because I aggravated them. Let me know if you think I have the entire thing ass backwards. And yes, feel free to tell me that I should never have started with this many. I'm aware. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, I don't know if I should say, are you liking this content? But uh, hey, who doesn't like a, watching a slow train crash? So, at any rate, if you want to, I have a playlist for this, which is only one layer long. I will put that over there. But the Red Wheelers themselves have their own playlist, which I will put over there. And if you don't want to see any of that, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.